Hello and welcome to another video. Today I want to share a website I came across that can convert images into different forms of art, for example line art, sketched art, and even oil paintings. One thing I want to point out straight away is you only get around 20 images free but the pricing, in my opinion is extremely good. On screen is a couple of examples I have done already, but I will show you more in this video. I will also show the good and bad points of the website. You can see in these examples that I have converted into vectors, the results can be really good. All the images I use in this video are copyright free and can be downloaded for free from this website. I will post a link in the description. There are thousands of images you can get from here, just simply search for whichever content you would like. This is the website to convert your images. Yours will look a little different the first time around as I have used mine doing many tests. These are the prices of the bundles once you have used up your free ones. Please be aware the free ones are watermarked, but tracing them into vectors using Lightburn or other software does tend to remove them most of the time. I got just the starter pack, which as you can see you get 150 credits. Each generated image costs 1 credit, this is for every new generation, meaning each time you click an option, it will cost 1 credit. From doing my tests I found removing the background really helps improve the end results. There are a few ways to remove a background. Two good websites are, remove.bg and Photoroom, both are free to use. In this case I'm using Photoroom which I will also link in the description. To remove the background simply click select photo, upload the one you want, then on the right side in layers click the white, then choose erase. Once done simply download your image. Now back to Portrait Art website, simply click to upload your image, the website will then process your image. Once it has finished you can choose from one of the 16 conversions to apply to your image. Four line images and photos you wish to convert to vectors I have found, color page, pencil sketch, line sketch and line art to produce the best results, but feel free to play around with the others. This is the result it gave for this one. I'm honestly not a fan of this type of art but I know a lot of people are, so if you are happy with the result you can simply click the image and download it, if not you can resample it and try again. This will use another credit. This is the next result, very similar. This site uses AI to help generate the images, so you can keep trying but it can also produce some weird results. Let's try a different conversion method. I will choose pencil sketch. This is a perfect example of a weird result. The couple themselves have turned out pretty well so I will resample and try again. This one is better but very light. It may work well as a PNG engraving but it won't trace well for a vector conversion. Let's try line sketch option.
Some images can be tricky and just won't work well. You can try to improve them by changing the wording in the More Controls option. This was the result, it may be something you like. Let's try one more option to see if we can get a better result. This looks really good, but wouldn't vector well for black and white, it would be great for something like sublimation. Wow, this one looks very good and would probably raster engrave well. Let's try another photo to see how it turns out. Here is the result, it's a nice image but I wouldn't say it looks like our photo, so I will try again. This one looks a lot more like our photo but I'm not a fan of it, maybe you like it. I found with the color page option it is either good or bad. These are just a few examples, if you play around more you can get really good results. Let's do one more photo. Then I will show you how to convert the image to vector in Adobe Illustrator and Lightburn. I tried a few here and as you can see got various results. Some very strange. I actually did the same image earlier and had different results as you can see. I have speeded up the video to show them all. Now let's convert one to vector. You can either copy and paste or download the image by right-clicking on your mouse and choosing an option. Once you have your image in Lightburn, right-click your mouse on the selected image and choose Image Trace. You may need to play with the threshold on your image to get it to trace all the photo. In my case here for this one it was fine as it was. That's it for this conversion. Let's take a look at the sketched image. It is the same process as before to trace the image. In this one I had to adjust and play with the threshold to trace what I wanted. If you click fade image it can sometimes help see what it is tracing better. I didn't like my first result so I simply undone it and started again. I did this with Ctrl and Z on my keyboard. You can adjust the threshold as much as you need to get it how you want.
These are some of the images I was playing around with earlier and their results. Due to the light tones some of the sketch images don't show well on the screen until you click on them. Let's convert another sketch image. As you can see some really do come out well. Let's convert another sketch. This time I will show you in Adobe Illustrator as well. There are a lot more options in Illustrator to trace an image so you may get better results. You can adjust the noise threshold which will show either more or less fine details depending on what you are looking for. The threshold itself will pick up more or less of the image depending on which way you move the slider. If you are using Illustrator, the speed it will process the image will depend on how good your computer is. This is what I ended up with. I will quickly show the same image in Lightburn. Here is the finished result, also the end of the video. I want thank you all for watching and I will see you all next video. Please help me out if this has helped you by subbing to the channel.